back with Gunnar, who gave me a hat for my work. Running up to the next nearest quest, if I can remember, which I think is just up here on the right. Let me get past these guys first. These guys, as I say, are super light, super weak. But you don't want to leave too many from chasing you because they can start to get. You start to set up dungeon alert as soon as you've got too many cha people chasing you. And then dungeon alert just suddenly hits you in the back and you slow right down. So it's worth killing a few as you go. Here we are going up these stairs. I won't need to kill these because the quest is just up here. A mangled sewer grate leads to an old Redemption. abandoned candle manufactory. So this is the one they were talking about. Um, it's one of the main quest ones on this line. I've still got a bit of time with them, my hireling. So I'll bring her out because she'd be handy, I imagine. You enter one of the laboratories where decades ago, House Caniff first imbued mystical life into automatons. Much later, these automatons became the war. The doorway ahead war has forged. been boarded up. Oddly, the war looks very recent. Yeah, it's this whole campaign obviously is set in their baron, which has war forged. I think there are traps here. Don't don't recall them being too bad. There's one on the corner somewhere. I'm just going to part my hireling, because hirelings love to die in traps. Oh, there's a trap. There's a trap. Is it looking? Do I need to pull any levers before I go through that trap? I actually literally can't remember. Let's kill these dogs anyway. Okay, so just time it. Ow! <laughs> so much for timing it. Another one. Let me just carry on. Still haven't seen any levers to pull. Been a long time since I've done this quest. Oh, no levers. I'll probably summon my hireling. He teleports to you when you click him if he's far enough away. It just means he doesn't run through those traps at whatever random time he decides is the time to run through them. Which is more or less what I was doing anyway. Okay. A magical barrier humming with compressed energy resolutely blocks your path. How can a barrier be resolute? I hope you can find a way to save it somewhere. This feels like traps. Oh no, I can't open this door, I don't think. Without a rogue somebody to unlock it. It's a bonus area, it's optional chests and stuff. Here's where I'm going. And there's a shrine here <coughs> if you need it, but I think there's also, a, yeah, a lever. And I will probably rest before I go to the last battle. I see jets of some this is now about switching off these jets without getting killed by the jets themselves. Upon turning the valve, you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles to flow around your obstruction. There's, there's that hireling running around in the ice. Idiot. Any more valves? One more at least. 
Is that it? Yeah. Big ones here as well. Without the alchemical jets coating the Kanith power crystals, you can now easily destroy them. As the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. I'm gonna get my rage rage is back because the last battle here, if I remember, is one of those ones where you gotta keep a dude alive, a bit like that one with the crystal earlier. And most of these quests where you gotta keep the dude alive. The dude's very good at dying. I might even be using Intimidate a little bit just to make sure that I'm... Take the aggro off him. Should have been using that with the crystal, I just didn't even think about it. Yeah, so these barriers are down. Amalgam. The Warforged dude. Who in the flame are you? And the Here's the man I'm looking for. They're hunting me. You just cleared the way for them. Oh, well, now we'll kill them all. Oh, no. The Sawagan found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it. Marty. The Sahagin have followed you in and are attacked. This one's going to try to get my heart into 2 a.m. Bless. They would have sent so few after me. Stay alert. Come on. Oh, this should be fine. They are still blocking our escape. Watch for more attacks. So just keep teleporting in in waves. And hopefully, nobody dies. Not from the Sargon. Scum! Keep coming! I won't die that easily! I make you wait far too long between waves. For a little longer. Yeah, that hireling's doing her job, keeping everybody. At least we hear that guy's got a name since killing first. There we go. The Swahagan magic is gone. We beat them off this time. Well, hey. Hayden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. Of course, he's weary after beating off all these Sahagin. Will it never end? The Sahagin will keep coming until I'm dead. There's one way it can end. If we work together, we can drive them from Korthos. I've never heard talk like that before. Yeah, so we've got to do something about this dragon. And I'm guilting him into it by talking about his daughter. This guy with dragons not here of his own free will. It's being controlled by a creature most terrible, a mind flayer from the depths of Kaiba. But therein lies the key, and I have a plan which might turn the tables. Great. Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam at the base of Misery's Peak when you're ready. With Hayton finally <laughs> persuaded to help, the people of Korthos might finally win their struggle. So that's that one. Redemption. 